What's going on guys, it's Justin and Brandon with garageathletes.com and uh, we want to talk to you guys about functional movement quality and the basic pyramid to help you guys continue to progress throughout your athletic careers. Brandon? This right here is the basic sports performance pyramid by Dr. Gray Cook. Gray Cook came up with three different levels. With base level, the foundation that everybody has to start at is the functional movement quality. This is where you get the mobility and stability, full range of motion in the joints, we're getting stability in those joints, especially in the core area. Remember, everything starts from the core to the extremity. So once we get our core strong, then we work on our extremity strength. Once we develop those, then we move up to the functional movement quantity. This is where we start doing our workouts. This is where you're gonna begin lifting weights, gaining strength, working on your power, speed, agility, and endurance. So this is your GPP, general physical preparedness area. This is where we spend a majority of our time this is a safe area to be. And then once you get here, we spend some time here, we work up to the sport specific skills. This is our testers. These are where the girls come into play. Cindy, Grace, Isabel, Nicole, any of those named workouts that people can see where they're at from you know one month ago to three months down the road. You know, that's where it's a great place. All right, so, so what we see a lot is people asking how much time do they need to spend in this? And as we always know, nobody likes to hear the answer, it depends, but it does. Yes. But as a basic idea, what is the most, most generally, what do you see the time period in each one of these? Pieces? You know, it depends on the athlete. If the athlete comes in, has great mobility and stability, they can move right into the functional movement quality. We can get in their GPP work going on. If they're great right here, you can move up here and do some testers. This right here is how I work with a lot of my athletes. Some people spend three to six weeks right here in mobility and stability. Then they'll spend about three to six weeks here, just getting that GPP ready, and then I'm gonna test them. And then we're able to come back and reassess where they're at. If you have somebody that's been on the couch for 20 years coming into your gym, or you've been in the, you're working out in your garage, you're motivated, you bought some equipment, you need to start here. You might have to spend several days, or I mean not days, but weeks, uh, months working on your mobility and stability. You sat in a chair for 20 years at work, it's going to take a while to loosen up those hips. It's not going to be an overnight job. Then once we work here, say two to three months, we start working in. Now we're going to be in here two to six months probably working on our functional movement quantity, just making sure that all the movements are perfect. Every rep is perfect. Every session you do is perfect. And you want to have all the energy and everything focused in on that to where you know that you're getting the best quality out of this area right here. And then testers, they come, I would say probably five, four to six months, depending on the athlete. And periodically throughout the year. Periodically so we do year. not live in this section. No, do not live in the testers. All right, so how do you know when to move forward in each one of these? Most of us probably have access to the internet and tons of information out there. And videotape yourself and compare your videos or pictures to athletes that you know can perform well in movements. So if I'm looking for a deep squat or a snatch, I know I'm gonna look at the Olympic weightlifter snatch. I'm not gonna look at a CrossFit or anybody else. I'm gonna find the best Olympic lifters in the world and I'm gonna see how I measure up to them. And if you can't afford to go find a, a professional, that's the best way to do that. And just knowing those positions that you can hit in. And once you get through your mobility and stability, when do you know when to test? Well, I'm not gonna test anybody until I know they can move perfect. So if you're always having knee pains after a workout, shoulder pains after a workout, you're probably not ready to go into a tester yet. You need to find out how to uh, free up that range of motion. Uh, you need to visit fms.com, which is Dr. Gray Cook's uh, website. He's got some great information on there. And there's tons of other places on the internet to find those as well going. But make sure that you have pain-free movement before you try to move on to the next section. Cool. And as always, if you have any questions about any portion of this pyramid or any information that you want to find out about specialized programming, you can go to garageathletes.com, sign up for our newsletter, and uh, hit us on our YouTube channel, subscribe to it at Garage Media. See you guys next time. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag badass on a budget. We'll put that under. <clears throat> uh, that was good. Can you do it? Right. Let's do it. That was good. Can Let's, you record this one. Let's record it now. Oh, we didn't. <laughs>